In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an amazing house remix for Bad Bunny. What's up everyone, and welcome to yet another video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an amazing remix from a track which is called Da Kitty from Bad Bunny and Jay Cortez. So I'm gonna use this acapella, use the main melody element from the original track and create something totally new. So I hope you enjoy it, so let's dive right in. So the first step is downloading the acapella and then I'm gonna start off with the original melody. So this is basically the main melody for this track. And in this case, I've used a preset from Morphine, which is called the Deviating Keys. And this one is very similar to the original track. So let's have a listen. I really like the melody from the original track and I think this one sounds great. So the next step is adding another flute melody and I'm using the Strawberry Flutes from the Mellotron. Just to add some more ambience to this melody. And of course, we want to add a simple bass line. So I'm using this growling bass, also from Morphine. And then I'm using this analog Reese bass from Serum. So it's very nasty. Now the melody sounds just way too empty, so I want to add some more texture. So in this case, I'm using the Pets Endless Glacier from Spitfire Audio from the OPT Bank. And this one sounds like this. Just a simple one shot. And secondly, I'm using this synth plug from Flex, which is also stock plugin from Apple Studio. And I've added a lot of reverb, and this one sounds like this. And it's basically just playing the root note of the chord progression, also E. and then I'm adding some side chaining to this texture pad using the Kickstarter 2. So adding that vibing, ducking effect to this pad. So when we play it all together, it sounds like this. Sounds so cool. So right now I've showed you the main elements when it comes to the melody. So right now let's start off by building the drums. So for the drums, I'm starting off with three elements. So at first this kick. Then I'm adding this hi-hat on the second beat. Then I'm adding a simple clap rhythm. But as you can hear right now, it still sounds way too empty. So we have to add some loops. So you can do this yourself, but when you've built the main rhythm, I recommend you just add some loops to fill up the emptiness or empty frequencies from your drum loop. So we're starting off by layering a second head loop. Very simple. And then we want to add another layer, which adds some more rhythm. So let's have a listen. So we add this head loop. Sounds very techy right now. And I want to add a layer which contains some more high frequencies. So we're basically making sure we're adding all the necessary frequencies. So in this case, a shake loop is a perfect fit. So as you can hear, it already sounds like a full and finished loop but we're still not finished. So we're adding another tambourine loop to add some more high frequencies to the kick because one of the samples in this loop is playing very loud at the kick. So let's have a listen. As you can hear, we're adding some more texture and frequencies to the kick. So this makes it way easier to get a full sounding mix in the end. And last but not least, we're adding another right loop in the background. So that's how you can simply create an amazing drum loop. Don't create everything yourself because it's basically just not necessary. And by just adding some elements in the background, you're making sure you're filling up all the empty spaces within a drum loop, for example. So right now it's time to build the main element, which is the drop, so the main bass lines. So we're gonna reuse some of the elements which we've already created. So I'm gonna add the simple glass chords, which we've added. Just the chords, not the melody. Then we're adding that texture pad again.
They were adding this simple sidechain noise in the background just to make sure we're filling up the emptiness. Very easy trick how to make sure something sounds good. Just this one. So let's layer it. And you won't even notice it in the end when you add all the other elements. So right now I'm going to add a wide, a main element, which is a brass. So I'm gonna start off by using this cloud step. So right now I'm playing it in C. So this one. And as you guys can see, I've added a lot of reverb to this one. So it's basically just a sample, which I found sounds really cool. So I'm going to draw in a simple melody. So basically you could reuse some of the notes from the original chord progression. So let's see, we pick this G. So copy some of the notes right now. Then we're pasting this one right here. And we're going to pick G, E, B. This one. So we're reusing some of the elements. So let's have a listen when we play it all together. but it needs some more frequencies where now it sounds too empty. So I'm using another brass from Serum, which sounds like this, which contains some more mid frequencies, which the bass step is missing. So I'm going to copy it over, paste this one right here, Control C, Control V, and we want to make sure this one sounds really dark. So we're making sure we're pitching this one up, for example, to C. And this one is pitched half an octave up, so always sounds good. So that's it, that sounds really cool. So right now let's add some low frequencies. For the low frequencies, it's really helpful to just pick the root notes from the chord progression because otherwise it's going to sound off. So in this case, we want to pick the root notes which are C, A, E, and D. So let's copy those ones. And right now I'm gonna use a simple bass. This is one of my favorite presets when it comes to adding low frequencies or sub basses, which is a preset from the Mini V, which is called a bass you will use. So in this case, we're going to use it. Sounds very simple. It's a basic sine wave. So copy it over. We're gonna paste it right here, remove those ones. And I'm going to play around with the pitch. Now adding a lot of low frequencies. Oh, that's it, that's it. So now we want to add some more layers. So we want to add a layer which contains some more mid frequencies. So we're picking, for example, this one. And then we're basically copying over this one. And right now, again, play around with the pitch until it sounds good. So that's it. So right now we're going to add another layer and we're using this bass plug sound, this one. And by using this, we're going to add more rhythm to the bass line. So we're going to start off right here. So that's, that's it. So copy it over. I'm going to make sure we reuse the root notes again. That sounds so cool. So now we're going to layer it with the main drums. So let's have a listen when we play it all together. So that's it. So we've added some amazing low and mid frequencies. So now it's time to add the main and catchy element. So in this case, I want to add a more trance inspired plug, for example. So I've picked this one, also from Serum. And I've added a lot of reverb and delay. So right now I've basically reused the flute melody. So we're copying this one, which is E, G and F and we're pasting it right here. So pitching it down one octave and then we're going to add a rhythm, 
which fits the chord progression in the drums. So like this. So we're going to copy this one over again. And I will basically follow the exact same rhythm. So remember G and F right here, Control C, Control B and F. So let's have a listen. So this melody goes perfect together. So let's have a listen when we play it all together with the drums. That sounds so cool. And to add some more frequencies or make sure it sounds full, in the drop we could, for example, use this downlifter. So that's it when it comes to creating the main elements for this beat. So right now we're going to add the acapella. So if you want to make sure the acapella is automatically stretched to the tempo of the project, you could easily open up the sampler and then select right mouse button right here and then select auto detect and then type in the BPM of the original or of the original track or the vocal. So if I remember correctly, the Kitty is created in 110 beats per minute. So if you select 110 and then select mode E3 generic, it will automatically readjust the pitch of the vocal and just speed up the vocal tempo. So it fits the tempo of your project. So right now at first I've added another element, which is this drone sound for the intro. So just add some of these elements, just makes it a little bit more interesting. And then I'm adding this texture from Semetics. And when you add those elements, it will sound full, but you won't directly notice it. That's exactly what you want to achieve for creating a full sounding track. So let's have a listen when we play the first part of this remix. So that's the first section. Then I'm adding some white sounding drums, some cinematic drums, which is this loop. And I'm adding some claps. And last but not least, I'm adding another melody. And in this case, I'm using two layers. So I'm using this layer from Serum and another layer from Serum, this one. And when I play them together, it sounds like this. So this one sounds very, very original and I think it's a great fit. So in the next section of the track, I'm basically adding some uplifters and I'm adding this fill. Block coming in. So that's it. So as you can hear, it's building up. I'm removing some of the low frequencies, for example, from the fill. And I'm adding some more reverb to some of the elements using those automations to make sure it nicely builds up to the main part or the drop of the track. Then let's listen to the main part. Simple, leaving a lot of room for a vocal. Not coming in. Outro, cloud pad coming in again. And 
then I've adjusted the structure of the track to the vocal. So right now there is a short part and then a main part is coming in directly. So in some cases it could sound weird, but in this case it sounds great. So the flute is coming in again. So not adding any uplifters or any effects. Coming in again. This part is different from the original track. I think this part from Bad Bunny sounds great. And then just a simple outro. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. So I hope it was helpful and I hope you learned something from this. So the final remix will be out very soon and maybe by the time you're watching this video it will be out already. So I think I'm gonna post it on my second channel and it would really help me if you would check it out and leave a comment and like the video. And with us being said, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day and create some awesome music. See you in the next one.